Welcome everyone, here is how you edit a photo on your iPhone running iOS 16. So first of all, select the photo you would like to use. Tap on the photo itself, so you have all these options here. And then you just want to tap on the edit. So now you can have the auto option and then all the sliders. So we are currently in the adjust tool. So if you tap on auto, it will automatically adjust your picture uh, you know, to Apple's, you know, standards. You also have a slider, which allows you to choose how much effects you would like to use, okay? You can see all these other options are being changed as I change the slider. If you tap on this toggle again, that will remove the automatic adjustment. So we have all these options to change here. Really, you just slide it around until you like it, okay? Shadows, okay, contrast, mm, like the contrast more. Brightness, maybe reduce that. You really just slide it around until it looks visually appealing. Okay, and I'll reduce the saturation. And this does apply to the full image, all right? So you're not able to choose specific spots when you change the saturation, you're changing it on the full images. And really the list r does go on and on and on. But once you're happy, then there we go. Then we also have here the filters. You can slide across to change a filter to whatever you would like. On some filters, there is a slider for the intensity as well. Then you have the crop tools. So we can do rotation here. This will distort the image. So you can see that it will distort it up. So maybe you took a picture and your device is facing down. You can use distortion to make it face up. And you also have distortion to the left and right as well. You then have this button here. This will flip the image like so. Maybe you took a selfie. You want to flip the selfie around. There you go. You have the rotation tool here. And then you have the aspect ratio adjust. So what this allows you to do, first of all, you can crop around, okay? We selected free form, so it will allow you to do whatever you would like. If you want a certain aspect ratio, tap on square, wallpaper, all these options here, okay. Play around with those. Uh, I'm going to tap on this button here. So we need to select a ratio first. And you can see it's going to choose the orientation, okay. So portrait orientations for here, and then landscape. So this was a landscape image, so I'm going to select 16 by 9, and there we go. When you want to exit this menu, you do have to tap on this button here in order to exit. Then we have the markup tool. This will show up anywhere, no matter what option you've selected here, okay? So if you tap on the markup, you can annotate, right? If you want to add a watermark, you can tap on the plus, and then you can add some text here. You can also add boxes, circles, speech bubbles, lines, signature, all this good stuff, okay? This button here allows you to change the color, so you need to tap on it twice, and then you can change the exact color, opacity, etc. This is used for your brush, okay? Brush here. You tap on the brush, you can change the thickness and the opacity as well. And the faster you draw the larger the line will be okay so i'm drawing slowly take a look how small that line is and the quick line you can see you also have the eraser here if you tap on the eraser you can change the size and change between pixel eraser and object eraser as well and you also have the undo and redo tool you have the cancel option if you do not want any of the markup changes to save and then you also have just do a little thing here you also have the done if you're happy with the changes, okay. You also have the triple dots. And so if you have any edits you would like to copy and paste, you can do that here. You can also tap on edit actions and favorite these at the top. Then we have the undo and redo. So this will just do undo any edits, redo any edits as well. You also have the option to remove red eyes with this option here. So you select this tool, find where the red eyes are. If 
there are literally no red eyes, it will tell you. You need uh, to select a red eye, okay? So if you have red eye in a picture caused by flash, etc., that tool will remove it. Once you're happy, just tap on done. And there we go. If you tap on edit again, you can revert your changes at any time. When you go into the markup, for example, you can remove the changes you made, right? I'm happy with that, just tap on done. And there we go, we're good to go. Do keep in mind that you can only edit the changes you've made on your device. So if you send this image to another person's device, they will not be able to undo any of your changes in the image. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.